In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a full brake bleed on this Ford E350. Let's get started. Open the hood and you'll see that on the driver's side right next to the coolant overflow you'll have your brake master cylinder reservoir. If it has a lot of debris on it, wipe it down. Mine's a little bit dirty, but it's also very stained. So this isn't really dust that's gonna fall into it. Open up the cap. If you look closely at the cap, you'll see that it says to use DOT3 brake fluid. I know this one's kind of dirty, but you should be able to see it on yours. I have a vacuum pump with a collection receptacle on it. And what I'm going to use this for is to remove the old fluid that's in the reservoir. If you have anything else that's going to remove this brake fluid, go ahead and use that. Just remove as much as you can out of this reservoir. Okay, that's as much as I'm going to get out of it, so I'll stop right there. Now take some new DOT3 brake fluid and fill up the reservoir. That's full right there, up to the max line. Let's cap it off. We are now ready to start the bleeding sequence on this van, and the first wheel you want to start at is the right rear. After you've bled that one, go to the left rear, do the same thing. Now that we've done the rear axle, top off that master cylinder to make sure it stays plenty full. Then you go to the right front, you bleed that caliper, and then lastly, the left front. Top off that master cylinder again, since you've bled another two calipers, and then check the pedal. Make sure it's nice and firm when you pump it up with the engine off. If you're unhappy with how the pedal feels or you think you have more air left in the system, repeat the bleed in the same sequence until you are satisfied with the bleed. Now this is the right rear caliper. We're gonna have an assistant in the vehicle ready to pump up that brake pedal and create pressure in the system. After they do that, they're gonna hold the pedal so that pressure is applied and then I will break the bleeder screw free to release any air. Go ahead and pump. Holding. All right, they're holding pressure. I have a little hose that is attached to a collection receptacle so I don't spill fluid anywhere. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, open up that bleeder screw. There we go, we got some air. Pedal hit the floor, go ahead and pump again. We're just gonna repeat this process until there's no more air coming out of the bleeder screw. Holding. Okay, holding pressure. Okay, hit the floor, go ahead and pump again. Holding. All right, open it up. Hit the floor, go ahead and pump again. This one was clean, so we'll do it one more time. Oh, I got an air bubble. Go ahead and pump again. All right, this is clean. Go ahead and pump again. Perfect, you can let go of the brake pedal now. I had three clean bleeds in a row, nice fresh fluid. So this is all set. I'm gonna wipe off any remaining brake fluid here. You can use some brake parts cleaner and spray this down. And of course, if you had the little rubber cap, go ahead and plug up the bleeder screw so it doesn't get clogged up. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the left side rear, then we'll top off the master cylinder and move to the front. I topped off the master cylinder, and I'm at the right front caliper, so we're gonna bleed this one. Go ahead and pump. Holding. Okay, holding pressure. This is a 3 8 bleeder screw now, so we'll get that wrench on there. Open it up. Floor. All right, hit the floor, go ahead and pump again. All right, pump again. Holding. Floor. Perfect, you can let go of the brake pedal. We had several nice clean bleeds in a row here, fresh fluid. So once again, wipe all of this off. If you had brake fluid dripping down the caliper, use brake parts cleaner to rinse that off. And the last caliper in this sequence is gonna be the left front caliper. So go ahead and bleed that one. With everything done, top off the master cylinder one last time. Make sure it's full all the way up to that max line. You can see that on the side of the master. 
and of course cap it off. Now if you're unhappy with how the brake pedal feels and you think you need to bleed again, do it in the same exact sequence, all four wheels or all four calipers I should say, until you are satisfied. And then top it off once again and put the wheels back on. 148 foot-pounds in a cross pattern, take it for a road test. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.